Today's video, I'm going to show you a really, really good little blitzing concept for defending formations like trip side in. This is going to help you get really good pressure, but it's also going to help you be able to create some kind of unique and interesting coverages in behind your defense to be able to ensure that you're, uh, you give yourself the best chance to get a stop as possible. This is going to be coming out of the dollar three two in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. If you guys want to get access to my entire Kansas City defensive ebook, we've broken down dollar, big nickel over G, four three even six one, dime normal, nickel three three, three three, three cub. All of those defensive formations are available by becoming a Patreon member. We have full ebooks. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks this year. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. It's only ten dollars to become a member. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, just head down to the description. You can click the link down below. Now, really, really important for this defense, a couple things we're going to want to do. In our auto flip, we want to make sure that our auto flip defensive play call is set to off. For auto alignment, we actually want to leave this on default. You could leave it on man align as well, but I, I personally just prefer default for this, what we're going to show you. And then we are also going to put our zone coverage here to match. Last thing you need to do is in your packages here on your screen, Go ahead and flick the right joystick to the left one or to the right one time for the free safety sub package. Now, as you saw right there, it actually changes players on the screen. So what you do need to do is if you want to prevent that, just sub all your players out and basically just sub them back in wherever you want them to be. OK, so now we have everybody set and free safety sub package and we're going to come out in the play spinner. Now, what's really cool about Spinner is it automatically aligns your defense essentially like a man alignment. So if you look here to the left side of the screen, this is really important. This right side guy that's over the inside trips receiver, he's actually our outside cornerback. So let's say, for example, that somebody goes in motion from the trip side. It really doesn't matter who it is. So in this example, we'll just do a combo like this. Watch how... The, you see how here the defense should travel. I don't know why he didn't travel. It's kind of weird. Let me see if I can – actually, let me see if I can man align this and see if we can fix that. Normally, he travels. He definitely travels if circle goes. Let's see if we do this again. We don't get the travel behavior. Awesome. Okay, let's check circle, make sure. I'm not telling you guys a lie. It doesn't really matter. The coverage is still going to work. But I just want to see this alignment. Trip side in is this is what trip side in really messes up. So there we see there there he travels. Okay, so if they basically if they motion anyone from the trip side, whoever is manned up to that player, is the player that's going to follow. So this outside guy on the left, you see he's going to follow him all the way across. Just kind of an important little tip, I think about alignment because one of the things that I find very difficult to defend in trip side in or deal with in trip side in, is the alignment issues that are caused. So when we come out in a man-to-man -man coverage play, it kind of solves that. Now, one thing that, and last thing that's really important to notice, is the only receiver, so if I motion circle, Deron Bland is going to follow. If I motion square, Isaiah Pacheco is going to follow. If I motion triangle here, notice that the safety goes back to the safety position, and they, the, the slot corner actually slides out on him, and the safety for that matter, okay? That's kind of important for what we're going to do from an adjustments perspective, because the main adjustment we're going to make is on this safety here. So for the setup, we're going to pinch our defensive line and we're going to use her this linebacker right here. Then all we're going to do is we're going to take that slot that is on the left side of the screen and man him up onto triangle. And then we are going to take the safety that is on the left side of the screen. And we're actually going to put him in an outside third to the right side of the screen. So you see, this is what the play art is going to look like. Then what we're going to do is we're going to man align and basically leave the defense as is. Okay. Now, the cool part about this here is we're probably going to have a really good chance to create some pressure because we're sending five people. If the running back goes in a route, we're going to guard him. He actually stays in the block, so they are able to pick up the blitz. But most of the time, that running back is going to be on a route this year. Most people that are running trips are sending five out from what I have seen. So again, here's your setup. All you're going to do is you are going to pinch your D-line. You're going to put the safety that is on the trip side of the formation into an outside third to the right, and then you are going to put the uh, slot corner that is over the top of that middle trips receiver in man coverage on him. Now we're going to show you one of the meta route combinations in this game, which is verticals. And we'll just talk about it after the play goes. And you'll see something really cool. Okay, 
So let's talk about what this did to help you in combating verticals, which is probably the most popular play from Joe Sinan. This adjustment right here, now don't worry too much about this. We'll, we'll talk about how to fix that in a minute. This guy right here is going to literally lurk this verticals crosser pr pretty much perfectly every single time. So any crossing route from the trip side to the tight end side is going to be taken care of. Now let's talk about how to make sure that you don't get burned over the top on the verticals play when you do that man up. All you have to do is just individual. You can individually back off that guy, or you could just shade your coverage inside. I actually really like to shade my coverage inside this year if I'm playing man to man. So now again, we'll go to verticals. And our job is really just a user of the running back. We're just lurking the running back. You see they can't throw the streak. They can't really throw any of the stuff. Man-to-man -man coverage as a general principle is really good for the trip side. And then zone is really good for the tight end side. So another adjustment that you could actually do out of this is if we were to put this guy in that third, then the other thing we could do is we could take, if we only wanted to send four, we could take this blitzing slot corner and we could either put him in a curl flat Oh, wait, as you can see here, we get safety adjustments on this guy, which is actually kind of cool. Um, we could either we could either man him up to the running back or we could, if we wanted to, put him in the outside third. The reason that we might run a random man him up to the running back is if they're consistently sending five out, if they're consistently you know, doing different types of route combinations, we have to respect that. One of the more popular route combinations that people like to do is they'll put this, they'll do this right here. Well, we don't really have to worry about this, so we're just going to cut the tight end crosser because that outside third is going to take any crosser from the trip side to the left. Now, another adjustment that I actually really like against trips this year is to put an outside third to the left. And the reason why I like this outside third on the left side is that number one receiver in a trip style formation almost always is going to be on some kind of like streak route or clear out route. So it just allows that the defender to be able to defend corner routes. It's not like a super big deal because the way trips tight end plays this year, most of the time the corner routes aren't going to crucify man. Like you're going to have a, ch a chance to play it. Let me explain. So if we get a route combination like this, the other cool part about this third from the safety is he will lurk like the tight end Y, the Y post route. So you'll see here, we just use the running back and you see there's not really anywhere they can go before the pressure is able to get home. Let me show you this in replay. So this is why I like this defense so much against trips, because if they run this play right here, this man up, because he's backed off, a lot of times he's going to take that away. Like you could kind of throw that, but that's going to be a tight throw. This guy has a deep out zone KO, so he might actually just break on the ball. The other thing is this defender right here, we have deep end zone KO on him. So notice how if I'm if I'm the quarterback, I can't really throw this route to the tight end. Like it's super muddy and not really a clear picture. It's very difficult to justify throwing that. So because of those couple things, it really makes this a very, very uh very, very effective trips tight end style of defense. Again, the setup, we're just gonna man this slot corner on the left up to the triangle receiver. We're going to put the safety on the trip side into a deep outside third on the to going to the right side of the screen. And then if the, if they're sending the running back out a lot, then you can man this guy up on the running back. If they're not sending the running back out a lot, I really recommend just leaving him blitzing. Now, the last really popular combo we need to talk about is this combo right here. And essentially what we want to do defensively is we want to start on the slant and then work back to the post. So you'll see right here, we're going to go to the slant, okay, and then we're just going to go to the post. You see how that slant stops? It's actually a really common thing that happens to people that run trip side in. This is my f really favorite way to send a lot of pressure at trips and be able to craft a really, really good little coverage defense. Again, this is a sin five, and a lot of times, if even if they block their running back, you have a chance to get pressure at the quarterback. If you guys want to learn my entire dollar three two defense and how I use dollar to literally lock down every offense in this game, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to literally all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, all of the updates, everything that you need to become a better Madden player. You can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.